Hello there and welcome back to another episode. So let's bring back the UI real quick. And uh, let's take a look at our colony. The trout is nearly over. So I did let the game run for a little bit. And I've just been doing some very minor modifications or, or fixes around the colony. Alright, so the trout has finally ended. We can, uh, well, we shall be receiving some more water. Let's get rid of a few of those dynamites. Right over there and... Oh, we got a couple more. And just these two. Right, whilst the water is filling up around the area, we have a few trees that have grown up. But we're not going to cut them down just yet because we would like the resin to start growing on them. Now, I um, wanted to uh, start producing a few things in here. So first of all, I put in a couple of those large windmills. And then I realized, well, wait, we're going to need some paper. Okay, so I built the paper mill. And then I realized, ah, wait, paper mill needs power. So we're just going to throw another uh, one of the smaller windmills in here. And um, the maples are already at 75%. So we're not too far from having our own log production or, or source over here, at least. And I do want to expand this a little further, but I... I have a feeling we may have to relocate the Forester. Uh, even though it felt like it's kind of nice to have it up there. Right now, it just feels we're not getting as many as we want. But then again, this might be enough for this area. So we can figure this out in the future, I, I feel at least. Uh, then I think this windmill, we can pause for the time being. This is still being constructed, so that's good. Um, I have put in a couple of houses for the beavers. So we have six permanent beavers that I don't have to move back and forth. We added in an extra water dump, uh, not the dump, the water pump in here. So basically these two are for the main colony and this one's for our mountaintop area. And they have their own water storage as well, which, uh, you know, could be closer. But again, this is just a, a quick fix uh, so that we, we could have a permanent colony or population up here. I mean, of course, we could have done the distribution as well, but I just really wanted to avoid doing that. Uh, right, so what are we doing right now? I am trying to focus on building up this area. We are going to have to give them a bit of extra access points because they can't quite reach these ones. Um, it's going to take quite a few logs to cover up the corners. So I have not been doing it for now because right now I think, yeah, we only got like 39 logs up here. And uh, let's have a look. So this is almost filled up, so that's great. And soon it should start overflowing as well, I believe. How much water do we still have? Okay, we should have enough. It should last. And now is not a bad time, actually. Let's uh, just empty out this area. We can get rid of the road, I believe. And let's see, are you going to be able to reach this? Yes, you are. So that's fantastic. And we'll give you the highest priority as well. Because I think that, yeah, they've already started putting dynamites in this section of the river. Just to uh, keep it nice and fertile around this area. When the next round comes in, essentially. All right, what else have we done? Oh, yeah, we did put in an extra warehouse. And we stocked in, uh, stocked it up with some grilled potatoes. And I believe we expanded the wheat farm as well. But what's happening here? I think we're... Oh yeah, we're full of bread already. Ooh, okay. So we may want to do an additional. Let's have a look. Let's uh, build one of those warehouses. And then we can uh, just have lots of bread. And hopefully start mm, trading. Or shall we... Oh yeah, you guys are doing this. No, please don't waste the logs on that one. We're going to need a lot more logs. How far are you, Maples? 76 only. Okay, how about we try and stock up this one here. Briar dies. Yep, yep, yep. And do we have any spare beavers? Yes, we do. We have a couple. So how about extra few haulers? We'll open another house. So maybe we can have a few more beaver babies. And then... Yeah, when it comes to the population, I feel like right now there's a good amount of beavers based on how much water we can store in here. Have you done these ones? Oh no, we were supposed to check how how deep is it already. So let's use one of those triple... No. 
triple floodgates and that is telling us we need one more level down so let's have a quick fix for that not up there yep here we go and highest priority yep we still don't have enough of dynamites do we have anyone working here not really well how about you start making some paper if we have oh right i see what the problem is now well this one's pretty much full so how about well not really full but a uh, few logs at least and at least we can start making some paper and as soon as it's produced us let's say 30 of those we can have a bit more power and then yeah any extra paper as soon as we finish constructing the windmill we shall start making dynamites up here as well which hopefully will help us to deepen this area a little bit quicker yeah i'd really like this to be done do you still have enough food yes we do so that is all good actually now that i think about it, it would have been better if this oh we can do that Let's delete you. What were... Uh, it was gears. Okay, we're do going to do a couple more warehouses. One over here and then one uh, about there should be fine. And let's connect... Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see. Food. Let's um, disconnect you from there. So this one's going to be for... What shall we put in here? Um... Maybe some more food, I suppose. Gears, food. Could even put some more paper. Wait a second. How is it? Oh, so quick. Oh, dear. I hope this trout isn't going to be like a boss level trout. Uh, I mean, we did manage to fill up. Oh, actually about that maybe we should go 2.5 let's take a look uh yep it should fill up you are filling up slowly as well okay and actually pump as much water as you can we'll take these guys out and the highest priority for all the water pumps okay yeah i have a bad feeling about this whole thing but uh, hopefully we... Um, I really hope this drought is going to be a little bit shorter. Just to give us some time to settle in up here. And let's check the maples again. 83%. The resin's already growing on the pines. So at least something good. Paper-wise, how many paper... Oh, you haven't really produced much, have you? Uh, there's enough power coming through at least. Okay, let's give, the, give you the priority. And how many logs do you have? Oh, only five. Okay. So, in that case, uh, you guys are done already. Actually, we do need some more gears. So, let's put gears in, on this side. Don't empty the storage. And 200 would be lovely. And what should, we, what should we feed them from the other one? Let's take a quick look. Should we put some carrots in there? Or... That doesn't seem I can grab that beaver. Let's have a quick check. Um, life expectancy. That would be good. Or carrying speed. Uh, do you know what? Let's give them some carrots, actually. Let's put a couple hundred in here. Yep, there we go. And grab these last logs and we shall reconnect you. And hopefully we get this filled up very quickly. There we go. A few more dynamites are done. So that is beautiful. We shall check. Have you done? Oh, you have done a couple. Just one left. Let's do a quick check for the height as well okay so that is good this means we can finally move those water bumps over and one deep one's gonna go there you're gonna be here right and the water tanks where shall we place you uh, you're still gonna take gears right okay so this isn't uh, i guess it could work here yeah might not be a bad spot but I'd like to put it right about here. Oh, there's a bit of a lip in here. Okay, in that case, we don't need those trees here. Uh, actually, let's not delete them. How about we cut them down? 
yeah, let's do that. We do need some logs in this district, so let's employ a beaver. Okay, we got one of it there now. No, you can't really reach that far, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, finally. Uh, how about the paper situation? What's happening in Hia 11 already? Well, it should be fairly quick, I suppose. Ah, productivity is low as well. Wait, we do need someone here. Okay, we might need some more beavers. After... Okay, quite a few logs. So logs is fine. You have not really filled these ones up. Oh yeah, because you're not connected and this is just the gears. 52 in here. Another day to prepare for the trout. I think there's a few dynamites that are ready to go. Yep, that looks good. And let's do one more. Oh, what happened now? Let's try this again. Ooh, that was close. How about... What is going on here? No power. Yeah, I was thinking... Um, might want to put the power wheel instead. But I was just hoping maybe we get some... Get enough power at least to build this large windmill. Oh well, it's okay. We can wait a little bit. I'm sure the wind will come back any second now. And something else and it seems to be complete here. I think it's the explosives factory. So you can... You can be paused. We do have someone in here... I think the next day we should probably try and... Yep, we are out of food. You shall not go there anymore. And you shall. Good, we'll let this run. Are they prioritized? Yes, they are. And you too. Okay, so resources should be coming in fairly quickly. And you know what? Let's just get another house full of beavers. The drought has now finally started. That was the last of the water we, we got from up here. And have we done the... Yes, we have done the final dynamite. So that's uh, that's good. Do we need to top this area up? I believe we do, actually. We should probably get one of those beavers and work in there right away. You guys are done. So how about you go elsewhere? They are hungry. So how about we just migrate you to District 1 for the time being? How come we had eight beavers here? Oh, I guess a couple of them were homeless. Uh, I guess I've... Yeah, I think I forgot that I moved a few over, but that's okay. We'll have 10 holders here and we'll spend the full day of moving resources to the other district. Now, the next thing we did talk about very briefly, about starting to set up a bit of a food or farming zone in this section here as well. But before we can do that, I think we'll have to figure out our how we're going to manage the water in here. Yeah, so that's going to be a little bit tricky. I mean, I guess we could always let it run through and put a few dams or levees in there. But then we have to give them access from here. Oh, uh, wait a second. 13.7. Don't want to bump it from there. Can do this one. Yeah, we don't want to lose any water from this section. Or the river. Uh, a few more dynamites in, which is great. And having a look at the food situation here as well, it seems we're, we're pretty good. I think there was some comments uh, mentioned before about our strategy when it comes to the warehouses and the mod we were using as well. And uh, yeah, some productions, which is very little ones. Um, we've paused the farmhouse in here. And yeah, it, it's correct we're not storing or having any warehouse space for them. But that was just to test out what the plants look like and what sort of recipes we're getting as well. And with the others, we are going to have bigger warehouses eventually. I am fully aware that, for example, resin is fully stocked right now and we're not getting any more. But we're also not collecting any extra right now. I believe both of them are closed. Yes, they are. And with the others, if, um, you know, we lose a bit of storage or potential gains, that's okay for now. At least the way I see it. Of course, it would be great to have that extra, but everything we really need right now goes into the development of this. So I, I, I feel like there isn't anything critical that we are missing or losing. Um, yeah, but not to worry. In the future, we are 100% going to have some bigger storages. And I'm thinking this is going to be the first time. Uh, well, technically, it's not the first time. I did use the underground warehouses in the folk tales. I think I placed down one, but I believe in this one we are going to use more of them and especially for the food storage. And that's because we have, if we go into this one here, 
we do have those arches which we can build over the warehouse the underground one i mean okay let's have a what's going on do we have enough food quick check yes okay th so that should be fine what we'll do now we ah oh, let's check the wood as well uh could use some more if i'm honest however we shall how many shall we send over that's two nine okay we'll unpause you and we'll unpause you yep that should be good we'll get back to filling this up with water we'll pump some more and this is being cut down as well so more logs are coming in good uh power really ah uh, what a pain uh okay maples 99 percent. okay great we can now hopefully soon have a beaver working there where's everyone else deep water pump it says there's two oh yeah of course there is two um i think you can be taken out can move over there and yes please to start harvesting and we finally can co start collecting our own logs up in the mountain mountain area i really want to name this district but i don't know what we should call it now also the district center i don't think it's going to be staying here I feel it's going to be relocated a little bit closer towards the end of the or tip of the mountain here or potentially down here. It just depends how far can we get. I do want to have a few water pumps in there, uh, but I do want this district uh, center also to cover at least some of that farming area. But yeah, if you have some great ideas for the name of this district center, do let us know. Also. I think it's time to give them access, if we can grab this. Uh, there we go, now you should have a way to get some food. 12 days for the trout. And I think with this one, what I did want to do... Actually, we're probably going to have to wait a little bit. No. Yes, we can place you down, so that's good. Let's connect you up with the road and we'll give you a slightly high priority. You're going to take 20 gears though. Uh, and that's painful. You're going to need 20 as well. How many gears do we have in total? Uh, none. How's that possible? Oh, the gears are in, are in this one. Okay, in that case. There you go. Now you should have access to gears. There's about 50 in here, so we should be able to build both. Well, uh, once we once we get power, how come you're off all the time? I'm starting to think we might have to transfer some paper into this district from the other one. Got only 15 in. Okay. Now, there we go. Here's some power. We're going to get some paper. And yeah, we'll probably have to figure out or at least put in a better system for this paper. I guess... If we change a few things around, the paper could be attached to those lumber mills instead. Potentially, at least. And what's your range again? Uh, just about here. So we could build a few things towards this side. And I think for now, maybe we place down a few more maples and turn this... Yep. Now you can cut them down as well once they once they do grow up. What is going on over here? These are being filled up very nicely. So that's good. Food, resources, things are good. I might have to get rid of some of those chestnut trees soon. But they're fine for the time being. Alright, do we have enough paper? Just three more. So that should be built in this run. Now, let's take a look at our wall of levees. Uh, what's going to be the best way to do this? Uh, it's not very easy. That's a good corner here. Hmm. Or maybe if we go... Okay, let's give this a try. We shall do something like this. Yep. 
And then this should do. Oh, we're going to need a triple one, don't we? Unless we go from this side. How many blanks do we have again? Quite a few is the answer. Well, at least we do have another windmill up and running. Uh, it should keep the paper mill running for a little bit longer. And then the second one is not too far behind. Yep, happy with that. How about this water storage? Is that being constructed as well? Or are we out of gears already? No, we're not. We still have another 30. But which one's going to take them first? You, oh, you already have the gear, so that's fine. I believe they should be building or bringing the resources here fairly soon. Oh, you don't have a whole lot of builders. Where is everyone then? District center is two. Okay. Uh, what just happened? Why was the range going up? Oh, the water's going through. Oh, I see. Okay. We may have to. Uh, what would be quite smart, I think, at least. Let's change this up in here. And we'll get one of those dams. And try and construct this corner in here too. But let's check the priorities out. Did we lose a bit of water there? I think we did. So we can pause you for the time being. Right. And you are quite a high priority. Okay, let's give the rest of it a fairly good priority as well. And in this section, we could put a bridge in here. Not the bridge, the stairs. However, I think we'll do, let's see, something like this instead. Uh, that means, yep, no, that's still, yep, that's good. That should, ah, uh, never mind. Maybe like so. And connect you up. Okay, that should give us all the access that we need. And, okay, well, we're pretty much done. Few levies, at least the buildings, everything we pretty much need. Uh, what are you? Oh, there's no power. Ah, uh, the wind is a bit of a pain. One vapor, and we have the second windmill in. It would be really lovely if at some point of the game they to introduce some sort of a battery, I suppose. I have seen some pretty interesting ideas for how batteries could work in this game, but we'll, we'll see if the developers implement it and, uh, well, when it's gonna happen, because the last update was only about a month ago. If, yeah, a month and a half, I think. So I'm not sure when the next one uh, will be will be ready but batteries will be a welcome addition for this game for sure okay we also have the second or the third windmill finally built so the power production is pretty good i've moved one of the beavers into this building but i've just realized power is not going through there because are you not passing any power through we could change this. Let's see. Will you pass power through? Do we have enough gears? Yes, we do. And... Oh, that's still not going there, is it? Hmm. So... We're gonna have to figure out... Let's see. If we bring those levels down, entrances there, we could do something like this give you the highest of priorities. Let's see what happens. If that's gonna save us at all. Okay, the night is almost over. So is the drought actually. Just 6.1 days left and we are nearly there. Don't think we need to build those other two windmills just yet, but let's have a look at this power real quick. Is anyone coming to build you? Oh, you're built. Okay. And yep, so the power is not passing through the industrial log pile. Right. Understood. Please focus on constructing you. Blanks, do we have enough? Yes, just about. Requires 20, so we're going to be pretty much out of resources after that. But we can always have another beaver in the lumber mill. If we take one of you out, which I don't want to do, but we'll do it anyways. Ah, this wind is really bad on this map, it seems. Honestly, it just drops all the time. I'm really tempted to go towards just at least one engine. That's 400 horsepower. 
and it would keep quite a few things running at least. I mean, we could always do some wheels, but that's just more beavers up here that we need to feed and... Uh, yeah. Okay, water level is fine. Yeah, I think in long term we may just stick at least one engine up here, perhaps. Okay, so the wind is at least back. And you don't pass the power through now, do you? Ah, well, that's annoying. Uh, do you know what? Actually, let's swap you over. Just a temporary fix. But, yeah, it's something we have to figure out in the future. You at least do pass power through. Why can't you then? Uh, okay, we are going to have to boot you. We're going to have to go elsewhere. And we'll figure out what else to plop down here. Maybe even just a house. Maybe that's what we should have done. Let's see, if we built a house here... Uh, yeah, no, we could still, they could go up and have then this one. And I guess his range doesn't have to be too big. Because he's just going to be harvesting those pines in here. Oh, but that's just wasted quite a few gears. Oh, well, we can produce more. We are already producing some planks, so that is good. And then I guess the next thing. And uh, those sides, they should be connected, right? Yeah, power is going through. Okay, so that's good. Right, and some more dynamites coming in. We already have actually one. Uh, I know it's not a lot, but it's something at least. Uh, which means if we bring a road down into this, we could also have the construction team help us out deep in this area. But yeah, I think uh, overall we have made some pretty good progress. We are almost self-sufficient in here. I think in the next episode what we'll do is we'll carry on constructing the levee wall just around here they've done already a little bit but it's uh, quite a slow progress and then i would like to start focusing on developing this area here uh, what i'd also like to do is maybe give them a slightly bigger forest to work with or figure out the better way how we can move those logs out from this zone into our new area so we'll figure this out in the next episode but for now thank you very much for joining in this one i hope you enjoyed and i also hope to see you again <laughs>